So, this is my second Harry Potter Studio Tour haul video on this channel. I did go in December, however I've only now just had time to do the video, which I hope is okay. Prices will probably be the same. Uh, I will also say the prices with each item that I show. Uh, this is fairly long haul, I suppose. I mean, I did buy a lot more stuff than I have before, so I hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my studio tour ticket, which I got when I went to the studios, and this was a ticket. And as you can see, it has Hedwig on it, and they have different tickets with different creatures on it, such as Dobby, I believe they have, I think they've got Buckbeak and Forks, but I'm not 100%. So this time round, they had three shops instead of the last instead of the two which I when I saw the last time back in 2016 so this time they had three shops and one is at the end of the forbidden forest and that has specializes in all sorts of different forbidden forest related merchandise such as the creatures and stuff and I only bought one thing from there and the thing I bought was this mug which is the creature mug and you can see it's got snake, the Hungarian horntail, Hedwig, Buckbeak, Cornish Pixie, Forks, Werewolf and the Mer people. And this mug I believe was $11.95. So the mug was $11.95 and it's pretty cool. And I kept seeing this the last few times I've been to the studios and now I bought it, so I'm happy I've had the chance now. Let's give it another look. It's very good detail. Haven't used it just yet, I think it's too pretty to use, so I'm just using it as decoration. But yeah, that's the mug. And then I went to the second shop, which is the Platform 9 and 3 quarters shop. And I bought for five pounds, I believe, was the bag for life Harry Potter Studios bag with the Hogwarts Express on it. Again, I've not bought one of these yet, and like this one looks quite nice. That was five pounds. And then I ended up buying something I wouldn't normally have bought if I'd seen them the first time, but I have. I like the idea of them and it was the bracelet and little charms the bracelet was £3.95 and the charms besides the chocolate frog one were all £4.95 because the chocolate frog one was £8 I believe they rounded it up but I'll give you a good look there's Dobby there's Hagrid and they have loads of these characters, they've got Luna, Ron, Draco, I chose Hagrid and Dobby because they are probably my favourite characters which were available. Uh, the Chocolate Frog one, my favourite charm I believe. There we go. And I got the Night Bus. I uh, got Harry's acceptance letter. Yep, yeah, those are those ones. So bracelet was three pound ninety five. The charms were four ninety five, and the chocolate frog one was eight pounds. Now, going on to the main studio. Oh, actually, before I go on to that. Um, I've mentioned this in my last video, they do the Butterbeer and Butterbeer ice cream and because I've already got the Butterbeer mugs for all of them, I decided to go for the Butterbeer ice cream and I got the souvenir bowl I think it was £6.95 with the bowl and the ice cream You do get a lot of ice cream and if I'm honest, it wasn't as good as the Butterbeer, it was a bit too much for me uh, I only ended up eating about less than half it, it was, they filled it up to about here It's quite a lot yeah, that's the bowl. Now onto the main studio tour shop, and I do have the receipt, so I shouldn't get anything wrong. 
so one of the things I've seen when I went when it back in 2013 when I went for the first time ever was the sorting hat and I didn't buy it and I regretted it and every time I went after that they didn't have any in stock so when I saw one in stock I had to buy it and it looks like that there we go it has detail excuse my uh my Mike Wazowski plush from uh, Monsters Inc. I've kept them in there to sort of keep the hat up because it kind of flops over a bit. Um, quite nice. You've got the face detail here. You've got the eyes. It's quite a fun sort of thing to have. Yep. Yeah. It's got quite a nice patchwork. And the hat was £29. Very steep. A lot of money for just that. But I went on a bit of a mad shopping spree there. So it was... So I think I did. Another thing I bought, which I'd seen in a few other haul videos, were the giant pygmy puffs. And I bought one. And I don't have any of my pygmy puffs about. Oh, I do. So this is a giant pygmy puff, and this is a regular sized pygmy puff. As you can see, there is a lot of difference. The difference between these two as well is the smaller Pygmy Puffs eyes bulge out and these ones are quite flat. But yeah, I've kept the tags on this one. And when I went to buy this, the woman must have thought I was mad because it's just so big. It took, I'd have two baskets to carry all my stuff because this one took up a whole basket. And this was £27.95. And it's very soft and fluffy. And I use it as a cushion. Very soft. So yeah, £27.95. Another thing I bought, which I'd seen on the website, was the uh, Professor Slughorn's. It was the Professor Slughorn's uh, keyring with the hourglass keyring. And for some reason, the sand has disappeared. It was no, there's no cracks in it. I can't find the sand. It has disappeared. So I shall be buying some more and trying to put some in there. But in the meantime, this is it. And it still is quite nice, actually. It's it is still very nice nice detail and this was £14 it is a lot for a keyring but it's a nice sort of replica if you want to not buy the big one which I believe they do sell for about £100 yeah it's £14 there I also bought the night bus toy which I have taken out of the box and I'll tell you it does look a lot better in the box so I'm definitely keeping it in there. And this was £13.95. It's very nice detail on the box and on the night bus itself. I was looking at the Ford Angela, but I've decided on the night bus because it's more sort of iconic, I believe. So yeah, that was £13.95. I also bought two postcards, which I have put in my photo album of Harry Potter postcards. The ones I've got were, I got these ones last time, but this is one I got this time, which is Luna Lovegood from Half Blood Prince, and this was £1. And I also got this one, which is from Lost for Stone, which was £1 as well. So the postcards have gone up by 5p, so that's not too bad. So yeah, those were nice. Now, wands. I'd originally thought about getting just one wand, however, I don't think you can buy just one of these, you have to buy both because it's a pair. And these are Fred and George Weasley's wands. So let me get them out. And I must admit, I didn't just buy them because you've got to get, I feel like you need to get them as a pair, I did buy them because they also are very well detailed. So Fred's wand looks like this. And it sort of has like a branchy sort of look, and can't you see it well? But there's some um, darker brown lines on the lighter brown. So yeah, that's Fred Weasley's and George Weasley's wand. It looks like a broomstick, I believe. Let's get that. There we go. Yeah, it's quite nice details in those ones. Okay, so 
I got one of these the first time I ever went, and I, this is the second time I bought one of these, the same sort of book. And the only difference is really is the cover and a few of the contents, but it's the uh, official guide for the studio tour. I didn't end up, I didn't get the Hogwarts Express one when they had it, but I have the original one, and I've got this one now, which is the third edition cover. And as you can see, it has a lot of details about the studios. If you took, if you were to buy one of these, buy them after the tour because if you've never been, it does spoil it, I believe. But it has all this stuff about the wands. Got some pull-out stuff about the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, that's the back. And that was £9.95. And I just remembered, I didn't tell you how much the wands were. So Fred and George's wand were £29 each. Uh, another thing I bought is, since I've already got all the Chocolate Frog, Frog cards now, I've got all of them. So I've got the main house leader, house um, heads of houses sort of thing, with uh, Helga... Rowena, Salazar, and Godric. Uh, I've also got Dumbledore, so I, instead of getting a chocolate frog this time, I got some fizzing whizbies, which I have eaten since because they were very good. But they were sort of um, they were sort of bee-shaped chocolates, milk chocolates with um, popping candy in them. They were quite nice. The box details were really good as well. I feel like people buy the chocolates and sweets for the boxes as well because they're quite pretty. And that was £8. Again, quite a lot for chocolate, but very good, very tasty. I couldn't leave without getting some badges. And now, this is the first time I bought this sort of big badge set of them. And this is the Quidditch um, equipment badge set, which was £11.95. And as you can see, you've got the, uh, you've got the Quidditch cup with some broomsticks. You've got... Quaffle, Golden Snitch, and a Beatrice Batch. Then they haven't got a bludger, but you've got four badges there. And I think they look nicer when they're displayed like that, so I have kept them in like that. And yeah, those were £11.95. Another badge set I got, which I did originally regret not picking up, so I did have to go back and get it, which was the uh, Felix Phyllisis badge set. And again, you get two badges, and one is the Felix Phyllisis uh, vial, and then the uh, words. And this was £8.95. Yep, those are quite nice. And then the last thing I ended up buying was something, again, I'd seen when I went the first time round and never bought, and I regretted it. And it was the Harry Potter Studio Tour... Uh, Warner Bros clapper board which isn't really Harry Potter related but is a quite nice souvenir if you're not really a fan of the studios and you're sort of dragged to go at the whole sort of drags there because I know people can just get dragged to the studios so yeah it's a nice uh you can draw chalk with chalk on it which is quite nice which I have left it blank though yeah down here got the Warner Bros entertainment it's quite nice if you want if you're an avid like amateur filmmaker or you just want a souvenir. And this clapper board was where was it? Uh, I've got a very big receipt, it's a lot. <laughs> ah, it was nine pounds ninety five. So yeah, this was my second Harry Potter Studio Tour haul video, and I hope it helped you and enjoy. I will put the list of items and prices in the description below, and yeah, I hope it's helped.